What's up YouTube? I am N0 and I know it's been a while. Happy 2022. And uh, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done an opening. Uh, this is the uh, Advance of the Intertwined Stars or something like that. Uh, the, the recent set that came in December and would have done this earlier but uh the packaging came in late because of a snowstorm and then drama or not drama but medical things happened in the family so i had to prioritize that not to mention all the mental health issues that our family's been going through so uh finally have time to do this uh probably do a deck updated deck profile too but this is the uh yeah, the Advance of Intertwined Stars booster for the Overdress series. And this is the only the Brandgate uh, split, so, of the set. So, we got playset of Gravita Norlinger, which is, uh, has a mechanic of meteors. Which is interesting. Uh, Cardinal Draco Desa Jade. Uh, this is uh, the World of Dark Knight and uh, Abyssal Knight. Got a playset of Aurora Princess Battle. Aurora Battle Princess Execute Lemon, Lemon Nun. Which is pretty cool. Gravita uh, Stanner, which is pretty cool as well. <clears throat> Aurora, Aurora Battle Princess Tra Bo Queen of Valilia. Oof, that's a mouthful. And then here we are, new set orders uh, for the Dark Knight, Dark Knight and Abyssal Dark Knight. Uh, this one, Soul Blast 2 to play. And yeah. And this one has to do with Shadow Army tokens. They get 500 when they're placed. Aurora Battle Princess Survey Vermilion. Which is pretty cool. It's a Soul Charger. Gravita Behringer, which is, uh, I think, another meteor mechanic one. Cardinal Fang Rheosia, which has, uh, you need Orphis, which I do have. I have all the, I mean, technically I can make uh, three Brandgate decks with what I have. With each of them having their own mechanics. Probably not enough triggers though. Uh, Gravita Orgil. It's interesting. And we got this uh, rare crit trigger, which um, at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, put this. Unit into the soul, and one of your units gets 2,000. So, I think they're just trying to put in trigger units that have more than one use to make the game a little interesting. So, if you don't guard with it, you can play it. That way, it's that way you don't have to wait for the opponent to hit hard. Uh, Gravita Prem Bram. She actually looks really nice. Cardinal Draco Still Juge. This is a counter charger. Which is pretty cool. You definitely need those counter charges. Plus he looks really cool as well. Cardinal Draco Abstrim. He can attack the back row. When you have a, a 
Abyssal Night or uh, Abyssal Dark Night out, or when Abyssal Dark Night effect or is in play, I guess. Uh, Blitz Interrupter. Gravita Ligial, which that looks terrifying. Here's a set order. Uh, Reflablish Dark, uh, Dock. Reflablishment Dark, Dock. God, I can't talk for some reason. Reflablishment Dock. Uh, uh, you get a draw card, and grade twos get boost, which I think that's good for uh, the army tokens, because that way you put your extra grade twos into use, just in case you want to attack with the shadow, shadow army token. Okay. Aurora Battle Princess Cuff Spring. Looks cute. I like the coloring on that. Royal Battle Princess Tear Kraka. Uh, this is a defensive card. Gravita Wells. Uh, this get dealing with meteorite it's cards. Let's see. Royal Battle Princess Shira Zenith. Which looks really interesting. This card reminds me of uh, Gura, for that famous VTuber from YouTube, but in a cop out outfit. <clears throat> we got a lot of meteorites, which is funny. Uh, it pretty much the mechanic of it is like you need a lot of meteorites and I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12. So, um, and you can have up to 16 of these in your deck, which I don't know how you can do that. Like how, how you put a deck build and I guess 12 would be the magic number according to tcgsleeve.com or .org or whatever it is. Uh, so in this part, me soul charge. And so if you put this in the order zone, you can soul charge one. And if it was put there by a vanguard ability, you may draw. That's interesting. When this card is put into the drop zone, or Put in your drop from the order zone, choose your opponent's rear guards, and retire it. Interesting. <clears throat> so I guess there's a way to put order cards into the drop zone. Alright, the rest of these. Gravita, Cardinal, or Cardinal, Cardinal Fang, Kinitia. Which is a pretty cool looking robot cat. And Gravita Delin, which is the Gravita's starter, which is pretty cool. I mean, I can technically make three decks now. One with the uh, Aurora Princess, Gravita's, and uh, Cardinal. So, that's pretty cool. I will say this, this, this uh, ace card, I guess, is really cool looking. So... Yeah, I'll try to make a deck up profile update to the Battle Princesses uh, before the next set comes in. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading that much. Just a lot going on. That's all I can say. I do stream more often, so if you want to check that out, it's at twitch.tv slash n0 underscore x so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video